everyone welcome back to Intelli skills in this series we will practice top 50 java array programs array is a very important chapter in java in every project you have to use java array many times so must practice all the programs at home because many coding interview questions also come on this particular topic okay so today we will write our second array program that is finding the average of all elements in an array okay so what is the basic funda of um, like average okay so what is the basic funda of it so it is basically of a like the sum of all elements upon the number of elements so similarly when we'll code we have to do the same thing First, we have to find the sum of all elements. Then we have to find the number of elements present in the array. And after that, we have to divide it. It is, it is as simple as that. Okay, so without any further delay, let us start with our coding. So we are going to write our code in a class called array average. Okay, so let us create it. So we have created our class. Now let us write the main method. Done. Now we will create an integer array numbers and assign some uh, values over there. Okay. And you can surely replace those values with your own numbers. Okay. Which you find the, which you will, which you wish to find the average of. Okay. So let us create it. So here I have created an integer array numbers and assigned the values 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Okay. Now I will create an integer sum and assign the value 0 over there. Okay. Let us do it. Done. Now I will write a for loop. Okay. To uh, add uh, all these elements. Okay. To add all these elements. So let us write the for loop. Okay, so over here we have written the for loop. So what the for loop is doing. Uh, so here we use this for loop to iterate through the array elements. Okay, for each element we add its value to the sum variable. Okay, this loop calculates the sum of all elements in the array. Alright, so now for better understanding we will debug the code. Okay, so... For debugging, we have to set our debugging point. So I'm setting it over here. Okay, now we'll debug our code. Right click, debug. So you see on, uh, on debugging, you get two tabs. One is debugger, one is console. Okay, so we'll go to the debugger tab as all the uh, variables will be assigned over here. Okay, and for execution, you have to press F. 8 on your keyboard okay so let me press f8 you can see numbers okay this array numbers has been uh, initialized uh, with the values 10 20 30 40 50 okay and if you click on this button right over here you can see for the uh, for the position 0 the value is 10 for the position 1 the value is 20 for the position 2 the value is 30 for the position 3 the value is 40 for 4 it is 50 okay now let me press f8 again uh, first let me close this and you can see also that the numbers dot length is 5 okay that means there are 5 numbers okay the length is 5 now i'll press f8 now you can see there is a sum variable initialized okay with zero all right this is going to store our uh, this thing uh, the addition of all these elements okay now f8 again you can see i has been initialized with the value zero that means i's value is now zero okay and as you can see uh, for the position zero the value was 10 so now press f8 again see the magic 
uh, sum's value becomes 10 because at the 0th position the value was 10. So 10 has been assigned to the sum variable. As I told before all the values will add up to the sum variable. Okay. Now press F8 again. I's value becomes 1 and what was the uh, value at 1? It was 20. So now press F8 again see the magic. Uh, 20 has been added to the sum variable and it became 30 on adding. Okay, 10 plus 20, 30. Press F8 again. I's value becomes 2. Okay, so in the second position, and I mean, uh, yes, at the second position, uh, the value was 30. Right, so upon pressing F8 again, you can see the magic. Sum's value becomes 60. So 30 plus 30 is 60. Right, press F8 Again, i's value becomes 3. At the third position, it was 40. Okay, so upon pressing F8 again, it becomes 100. Sum's value becomes 100 because 60 plus 40 gives us 100. Okay, now F8 again, i's value is 4. At the fourth position, it was 50. Now pressing F8 again, sum's value becomes 150. 100 plus 50, 150. Okay, so on debugging the code, you can understand it more better in a more better way because it breaks up the code into small chunks okay now press f8 again okay now we'll press f8 again and it will come out of the debugger okay let's minimize it and get back to our code right now we will uh, take out the debugging point right now okay so our first part is done right now. We have taken out the sum of all the elements present in the array. What is our second task? To find the uh, number of elements present in the array. So what are we going to do for that? For that we are going to declare an integer count. Okay. And we are going to assign the value numbers dot length. So numbers dot length will give us all the uh, like the number of elements present in the array. So we have assigned it to integer count. Okay. To make our code look cleaner. Okay. So now we will find the average. It will be easy now. We have to just uh, do the sum of all the elements by the number of elements. Okay. So here we have declared double. Double average. So why have we used double over here because our answer can come in fraction so for that we have to be prepared so we have used double over here and uh, now we'll print the result okay so you can see we have printed the statement or we have printed our result now we are going to run our code so you can see the average of the elements in the array is 30.0 okay so this way you can find the average of all the elements present in the array so you can understand that how debugging can significantly increase your uh, in increase the uh, amount of thing you are understanding okay so debugging is extremely important and in, in our upcoming programs also we are going to use debugging for better understanding and better clarification okay so whatever programs you are doing make it a practice uh, make it a practice and make it a habit of uh, debugging your code so with this we end our video for more videos like this please make sure to like share and subscribe to intelli skills our next video will be on the third array program okay so stay tuned for that video till then keep learning keep practicing and keep exploring bye